Lampman School is a small school, K-12, with about 130 students and a drum program, which has been running for about 11 years. Our first production was Steel Magnolias. It was our first full-length drama, which went on to do extremely well on the festival circuit. Steel Magnolia set the bar high for all of our future productions. TIFF was written for us in 2006 by local playwright and novelist Maureen Ulrich. TIFF exposed the frightening potential of cyberbullying. The Wizard of Oz, which involved over 60 students in our school, was where we first began to explore multimedia. We incorporated video and used voice altering technology and projections on the stage. We had students involved from grade three all the way up to grade 12. Annie was our next musical with moving sets and the expansion into student choreographers, as well as it was the first time that we brought in a vocal coach and a musical director. The Canadian premiere of Conflict by Wade Bradford, another regional and provincial festival and acting and technical award winner. Susical was the first of many co-productions where we opened our program to three other regional high schools in the southeast Saskatchewan area that didn't have musical theatre programs and they joined us on and backstage. Marcus is Walking was vignette-style theatre with 11 different settings, staged using just 16 boxes, two blankets, a steering wheel, and a well-oiled backstage crew. And Little Shop of Horrors, one of the highest grossing box offices for us, and an audience favourite, as well as a cast and crew favourite. Plant was played by a single puppeteer who managed all four puppets, as well as a voiceover actor who sat in the pit with the band. Dogs was also an award-winning Canadian premiere and involved the creation of whimsical working costumes like a ham head crown and an owl costume whose head revolved 360 degrees. The production garnered two of the four Acting Excellent Awards at the provincial level that year for our lead actors. We were the first theatre company in the province to produce the Tony Award winning the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee and had lots of fun in rehearsal.
We never had a shortage of volunteer guest spellers every night. Another award-winning Canadian premiere was written by Dramatist Play Services residence playwright Davis Aiello when he was just 16. The mustache explored the genre of theatre for social awareness and involved epic multimedia and 360-degree staging. We always try to bring fresh ideas to plays like provincial award winner Boy Meets Girl. And we love to create over-the-top costumes, especially when it comes from a raw idea that we have no idea how to execute, like the wigs in Lindsay Price's Hairball. Or the color-coordinated, absurdist comedy, The Celebrity. Black comedy, The Magic Fairy in the Microwave, where we simulated blood with balloons and paper confetti. And the American classic, The Effect of Gamma Rays on Man and the Moon Marigolds, also using projections on stage. And live animals. Our school has done many shows over the years, but mostly we pride ourselves on creating a fully cooperative theater experience for students. Our technical team created an apprenticeship program to mentor younger students, and together we choose our plays, staging, readings, and deciding on a play that we feel will stretch our acting and technical learning and give us a way to explore and present diverse ideas through the stage. At the same time, we have a lot of fun and our deeply connected team who are well supported by our administration, parents, and an extremely strong student company alumni presence, and who often return to see shows and go backstage to the sound room to find their signature on the wall, a long-standing closing night tradition. Students have gone on to pursue further work in the theatre, like here on the outdoor stage of Measure for Measure, and in the Teen Young Company at the Stratford Shakespeare Festival, Canada's largest and oldest Shakespeare Festival in Stratford, Ontario. Every season we say, that's it, we can't top it, it's over, but every year we come back for more. We build and invest in each other through the arts. And we would love the chance to share and learn with the American High School Theatre Festival and the world at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in 2016.